Hi, this is Smart Designer Technical Service Thing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply the color mask in your picture or image. When you open Smart Designer program, you go to File and click on Create New Image and now make sure to select General Image Full Colors and OK. You can also give your background color or white color. So now let's go import the image. You go to File, click on Import image and this is the image we would want to use okay we would want to apply color mask to the top and also to the skirt so before we start I would want to explain what color mask is color mask helps you change a color of a particular part and you can also design your image or pictures in thousands of colors so now let's begin. First and foremost, you have to click on select image and make sure to click on define image. And now you can start defining the outline of your picture or image. You can also zoom in and out to make sure you are defining the outline properly. And also you can press Ctrl Z to go back if you make any mistakes while defining the outline. Okay. So when you're done defining the outline of the top, you can now right click and click OK. You can also come here to the box and click OK. Now let's apply color mask to your top. So you click on color mask and make sure to select colors automatically. Click on it and now you can now merge the colors by right clicking. So you right click and click on merge colors. Right click, click on merge colors and make sure to leave two remaining colors. And now you have to go down and click on group colors. You can cl click here several times in order to group the colors. And when you're done, you click OK. Now let's give the top a color. So first you need to click on change color and make sure to click on the dress and now you can give your dress any color you would want. So we said we are going to give the dress a red color and we are going to give it a red color. So now we are done with the top. Let's move over to the skirt. We would want to give the skirt probably a green color or a blue color. Now what you need to do after outlining the top now you need to deselect the outline of the top so by deselecting you click delete outline so this automatically deletes the outline of the top and now you can now start defining the skirt The skirt might take a little while to define the outline because it has some um, curvy at the bottom so we would have to be careful while defining the outline of the skirt. But you need not to worry. Like I said, you can go back by clicking Ctrl Z to, to uh, delete the mistakes and you can continue. Okay. So like I said, we need to be careful while defining the outline of the skirt because it has some bubbles down and we need to define it properly. Okay. But it's not going to take time. It's going to take less than five minutes and we are done with the skirt. Just have to be careful while defining the outline of the skirt because it's the most crucial part. 
especially when you are when you choose this type of sketch you need to be careful while defining the outline okay so we are done defining the outline of the skirt and what you do is click OK. Now let's, um, before we apply color mask, we need to come here and click OK and now we can apply color mask to the top. So you don't have to merge because it's already merged and now we need to group properly and click OK and now we can change the color of the skirt by clicking on change color and make sure to click inside of the color and now we can now give the skirt another color so let's give it this color let's give it this color and yes so now we are done defining the outline of both the the top and the skirt and it looks good so now what we need to do is to deselect the skirt okay so we can just deselect the skirt by clicking on delete and saving the image too so now let's apply color combo so you need to go to change color make sure to click on color combo and now you can now click on the image and then select all the colors you would like to see okay i think this is the colors i would like to see and once you're done you click ok and these are the colors you would like to see You can also preview anyone. Okay, let's say if I want to, okay, I can show preview and I can also import it in my screen and save. I can also go back and also save this picture and this is how to apply color mask to your image. So now let's compare. Okay, so let's open a new page and let's import the original picture so this is the original picture and this is the this original picture and this is the one we designed okay and this is the one we applied color combo to so this is how you can apply color mask to your image and if you have any question please don't hesitate to email us at SD don't hesitate to email us via SD at okmodern.com and thank you for your time and bye.